The Springboks versus the Pumas, Argentina. This is at Loftusfeld in South Africa. And yes, I will be re reacting to the highlights now. And I uh, hope you enjoy it with me. Let's get into it. Once again, in the number 10 shirt. Kick off. There we go. Ooh, oh. Charge down early on. Grant Williams has Grant stayed down Williams well. is it's out his first cold. Oh, poor guy, young guy, first start for the Springboks, and he is knocked out cold. Poor guy, man. It looked like he was getting back back into it, so I think he'll be all right. But they won't play him again because of obviously concussion tests and stuff they have to do. But whoa, what a shot in the face! Rugby can be brutal, man. As he took that contact. Rugby can be brutal. Now the carry for Paulos. And Argentina coming from the start, coming, building up phases, trying to get something, put it something together yet. Offside call against South Africa. Now the penalty advantage. Francisco Gomez Cordela. You can see the Argentines have come to play. Um, now they decide to that go rush well. defense by the box and missing a tackle. Shooting out of the line to make the tackle. You almost took a nasty knock as well. Going back to the penalty. Yeah, that's the thing. If you're going to rush up out of line, you, you need that level change mm. to make that hit. Exactly. But this is where the power game comes in the inside fight. And Carreras going for the first kick at goal. And it's and through. Just fading back in time. Almost Argentina missed, but he got advantage. And early in the game already, Argentina showing that we are here to play. And once again, Argentina with the position. Now, four minutes into the game. Another player who started his first test in Pretoria. Oh, this must be a try. Oh. Off the fingertips. Creel's showing absolute pace there, running absolute that ball inches, in. Inches in it, it and if it you? just bounced a little differently for him. Oh man, that could have been a try for him. And this could have changed, you know, the course of play quite a bit by giving South Africa some, you know, momentum, which didn't happen. Whoa, good tackle there again. Man, it's physical out there. You can see it's physical. Anyway, through in the midfield argentina their ball being slowed down at ruck time as well short oh. side again and montoya round the corner before making the this is something pass. that argentina is doing well they're building the phases i mean holding on to the ball and yes. keeping possession and another penalty no problem with distance for the that's Pumas. for sure and his radar is good as wow. well right That's through that mix. was a far From kick to put Santiago through Carreras. and Carrera starting off well playing the game at a 10 minutes and the Springboks behind 6-0 at home He's hunted oh down. that's a bit loose and the ball lost backwards by Argentina, but can the Springboks, Springboks now apply the pressure, pressure. in the shadow of his posts it's about trying to steal that ball and he got it. And they'll want to play with this. And the Springboks Marks. trying to bring it out. Marks driving in. It's almost like I don't feel like the numbers are not there for the Springboks when they when they got the ball. They used to always run in pods of three, but Lebok very indecisive there, cutting back in. You're not going anywhere if you're running like that. Um, you need to decide. Pick a direction to run to and run it. Kick from straight out in front. So that puts Springboks on the ball. The leading point scorer in the United Rugby Championship. Front oh, very, very good throw there. That was clever. Oh, and Marks is having a great game so far. And talking about that guy as well, Kitsov running very Another well at the moment with the ball. Can Raptor the guys Jack. start building some phases here to start Boy taking no. control of this game? Because they're no. definitely not in control at the moment. Kitsov waits for another carry, but he's Oh, skipped. bring it over. Oh, well, he sees it out and wide, and Etzimev just walks over someone there. 
<laughs> Such a strong guy. This Etzebeth is just power. Yemen Etzebeth with a beauty of a try there. He's not really walking over the player. Oh, man. I feel sorry when you try and tackle someone. You see, the guy actually looks knocked out. Carreras. Oh. Carreras actually seems like he was knocked out. There's just no chance. He tried to tackle him out. There was just no way. What a try by Ibn Etzebeth. Now the Springboks can they start building some momentum and, and working on the rolling ball here. Yeah. Let's see how the Argentines are with their defense for the rolling ball. We know Michael Chick has been a really, really good coach and he's probably been teaching them how to combat this type of thing. But not this time around. Not this time around. And De La Linde is scoring. Let's look at this. Oh, De La Linde at the back. That's interesting. That would used to usually be marks, but... Uh, they eventually packing in all the, the backline players into that uh, rolling ball as well. And then uh, De La Linde scoring. Oh, Faf, he didn't see a gap there. And now Lubbock deciding to run it from their own line. I would have said the kick would have probably been the better option at this, that point. It's no point trying to run from your own half, you know. From your own. Just in time for Run, trying to run from your own half you know in a, in a tight game like this it's just not the time it's a different thing if you were hit by by like 15 or something but you're not you know it's still close Carreras does he got the Carreras now has put nine on the board and, and that's how the Argentines are keeping themselves in this game the Pumas know as long as they just take their conversions they keep themselves on the scoreboard close like a bus in there Oh, and he's just knocked that another guy cold out again. And this is now the second guy in this game that's been knocked out cold. Four is just too powerful, man. Oh, Vermeulen's powerful. Springboks have got so many physical players, it's just their overall game. It feels like something's lacking at the moment. I don't know what it is this year, but it's lacking. And it's hard to pinpoint. Let's see if they can start getting together now. Lelende playing back. Lebok. Oh, this is looking so good. Is that a try? That must be a try. Oh, flag up. Oh man, yeah, it's a pretty man. But that's the type of play you want to see the Springboks do more is basically work it through the hands, you know, and get it to the wings. Just simple rag build again. A fair way behind where they started. Not the ball. Marks. How did they turn that over? Sealing off. Sealing off. Okay. Carreras. Can he get another? Oh, Carreras missing. Wow. He's put through all the ones then. Then. You've got to feel that the Pumas have had the more of the possession. Oh, how good through the hands there. And the Pumas starting to get into their own now. Uh, 50 minutes in and it's almost like you feel them having more of the possession and starting to kind of build on, on their phases. I mean, look how they bring it, taking it through their hands there. Oh. Yeah. Desperate defense at the moment from the Springboks. Colby working so hard on the wing. There's a lot they don't show in this game when you watch the full game. You can see the work that Colby's had to put in on wing. Just because the Springboks have had to defend a lot in this game. And Steven Kitsoff. I mean, Kitsoff. He's so good at the jackaling and just staying on his feet, being the first over the ball. 
that was a, probably a try save there. Same again. Well, too yeah. early in on the jumper once again. So we're 60, 60 minutes in and Springboks are not wait until the jumpers come to ground before we play. Springboks are not at all in control of this game yet, you know. Uh, you see uh, Carreras puts this through. It's a really close game. Well, it's a second miss from Carreras. Miss. I mean, he could be regretting this. Matera, the target at the front of Argentina. Again, the Argentines play backline starting to look very dangerous um i like the way their backline starting to find form i've never seen them run the ball as well as they do lately i could check are really doing a good good job with this team and i'm telling you at the world cup you're gonna have to watch out for these guys oh is the opportunity marnie lobox got the must have the pace oh marnie's got the pace for sure he certainly is and he's, he's got some blinding pace Marnie and that's good to see and I'm glad they're playing Marnie Lebo uh, lately I felt that he is the right guy for that number 10 jersey for the Springboks immediately sensing the opportunity gotta say it's been great to see Faf on this early because Faf's just been instrumental he's been so good Faf the, Faf the clerk now the score starting to Top look more like a spin box. Oh, but hold on, let me not speak too quickly. There goes Colby. Starting to look better on the scoreboard for the spin box. Oh, it's so loose. Oh, it, it's very scrappy, man. It's very scrappy. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. Delendi's going to get a card for that. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can argue all you want. I mean, if you've done it, you've done it. There's nothing you can do about it. He's suggesting that he lost it backwards. And now trying to take the ball out wide. into the double figures in phases and can they score no Popped up for Carreras by Moroni. and that's a try and, and man the Pumas are making a statement here as a third test try I mean you can dare see look and look at the Springbox defense again, Spring again how they spread out wide um they just out of numbers Against totally um and the Argentines obviously Argentina sucking in the shape. players and um Man, the Pumas are starting to look like a class side here. This is 75 minutes in. Carreras missing now the third. And I mean, you got to ask if Carreras was putting through all his kicks. The Argentines could have been in front. Or close to in front. Oh, clever kick here. Yeah. But no, no good. Mark Hall and Santiago Carreras. And you see the Pumas want to run it from their own line. Can they do something with it? They've literally done it. This is very disappointing, this defense from the Springboks. You know, the Pumas shouldn't be able to do this kind of stuff. Now putting Colby under huge pressure. And luckily Colby's got the pace to run that back in. And uh, saving it for sure try there. But here comes the Argentines again, and this is the thing with the Pumas is they look look at their phases there. Now six, now seven, being patient, working through phases. Oh, and man, this this team, this Argentine team is making a statement. Oh, and that's a try. Well done. And you'd say. Ooh, the Springboks, you know, they literally going to win this game by the skin of their teeth. And man, guys, I have to tell you guys, um, for me, obviously, as a Springbok supporter, not convincing. And I think from, for anyone looking from the outside, not very convincing. So what do we take out of this game? Well, the first thing for me, I reckon that uh, if we look at the Pumas, what Michael Cech is doing now to this team is amazing. I actually reckon that the Pumas are a team that will be going through the, to the quarterfinals. I just think they're going to have this upset. There's, there's definitely a possibility that, you know, the Argentines could 
get a lot further in this World Cup, you know. You see how the teams are struggling. The Wallabies lost against them. The, the Springboks really at home, you know, at, with, the skin, uh, with the skin of their teeth going through in this game. It, it's nothing impressive from them. Uh, from the Pumas, just their patience again, you know, their phases, their kicking game, you know. Quite often they were winning the aerial battle here against the Springboks. And the Springboks are quite poor again in the aerial battle. And at times... You know, but the Argentines moving the ball quick enough through the hands that they're creating space uh, out wide. And uh, yes, just persistence, you know, constant persistence, trying to hold on to the ball and building up position. And the Pumas almost winning this game. From a Springboks point of view, there's a lot of stuff they don't show on these highlights. The fact that quite often the Springboks could have gone for the three points and build you know, scoreboard pressure. This is the way the Springboks used to play. But it's almost like they didn't show the Argentines enough respect. Wanting to play their their new type brand rugby, they're trying to implement, which is more running, looser type rugby, which it's just not in the Springboks DNA and it's just not working for them as well as they would have wanted to work. Because you could see quite often that there was clearly three points on the board if they just went to, went for the, the, the posts. And just took, took the penalties and build up some scoreboard pressure and then try and play a free game. Where from the start, they tried to go for the corners. They tried to just work line out set pieces, which I understand they want to go for the seven. They wanted to, to win the game with a bonus point, but it didn't pull off at all. They were just not good enough to do that against the Pumas. So I think they need to put some respect on the name of the Pumas team and this Argentine team. And when they play them, understand, treat them the same as you would treat the likes of an all-black team. Where you literally, if you get opportunities, you go for the post, you take your three points. They could have lost this game if Carreras put through all his kicks. You know, From a Springboks point of view, gameplay-wise, um, Ketsov was really good. Ed Sebef was good. You know, Malcolm Marks... They were stealing balls. Uh, Faf de Klerk was really good. Um, I would say those were the four standout players that really played their hearts out. And it's not like no one else tried. It was just the decisions being made on the field. Um, again, there was flaws in the defense. As the numbers were sucked in, there were space out wide for Argentines. And then again, also, when you looked at just the Springboks' patience to build phases... It's almost like lately they only want to play it up front maybe for one or two phases and then they want to send it out wide. It's just not going to work for them. Um, I think they need to build through more phases, play old type Springbok rugby and after building it through all the phases, you know, then send it out wide and try and do something with it. Marnie Lubbock is more of a running type fly off, but I really don't think it's a good idea to want to um, really just run the ball as much. They need to kind of slow the game down like I've said before. Uh, not that the Argentines played it that fast, but just take control of a game. Hold possession, play through six, seven, eight phases like the All Blacks did against the Australians and then only move it through their hands to try and score tries when you've sucked in enough of the defenders. That's what the Pumas did really well and they almost beat the Springboks in this game. What we take out of this for the World Cup? I don't know. It's not looking great for the Springboks. I wouldn't say necessarily the Springboks or poor, but I would tell you that the Argentines are really going to be a team to reckon with in this World Cup. We'll see as we move along if the Springboks are actually not on the right standard or if the Argentines have just risen in their standard. But nevertheless, guys, if you like this video and this reaction, hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next one.